everyone and welcome to AR Arena channel. Uh, in this video, we'll speak about uh, one of our uh, family that we need to develop regarding to all the kitchen cabinets. Uh, we develop one family that it can uh, make for us easy to create kitchen with all different type of the cabinets in case of I need to make it like single cabinet, double cabinet, cabinets with drawer or empty cabinets. We develop one family that can take all these parameters and make for us very easy to create all this kitchen with all this parameter easy and quickly. So if I go to see my family here, we have here our default family that contain all the types of the cabinets that I need to do it in the kitchen. And if I go here to parameters, as I can see here, I have all these parameters. I use it already as a default as a type to put it in the Revit project and in this case I can make types of the cabinets and to be for me very easy to get it as a quantity later and also I have all the dimension that I need but main depth and also the height width also the toy height and the shelf height and this is for me it will be very easy to kind of change the sizes of all the cabinets that I need also I have here all the materials for the cabinet or for the door cabinets if I need to change it and also guarding to all the handle material the leg material and for the shelf and the skirting so if I can go here to my project uh, let's load our default family if I go to component model in place As I can see here, this is my default or my standard family. Uh, let's try now how we can make all these items very easy and quickly. So if I click here, first thing I can see as an instance parameter, I have here three parameters for the left skirting, right skirting, and top cabinet. So in case of I apply these two, I can see now how he can put for me the side skirting, right and left. In case of I will close one here already he can open it from here also for my top cabinet in case of I don't need my top if I will use any vanity or any mixer here or if I need make any opening in the top of the cabinet it can be easy as I can see now it's very easy to close and open it can use for example this type of the cabinet I need it here to close my skirting in this side. Also, if I can go now to my type parameters, as I can see here, I have all the material that I can choose. So I prefer, and first, if I need to start to create the kitchen, put all the material that I need. And then when I start to duplicate and make another types of these cabinets, it can be by default make for me all the material as the same. So let's here make as a test and for example here I have my depth 8.8 and my height 0.9 and then my width 0.6 so if I need to increase this one as I can see here it's very easy to increase for me all the width also let's see what's inside for all these parameters. Regarding to all these parameters, if I need to, to close it and see how we can make the different type of these cabinets. Let's say now this is I have my default type. It's already the normal cabinet door and in case of I have normal cabinet door I can very easy put for example handle one and as I can see now he add for me handle one I have also another type of handle design two like that one and also I have handle three in case of I need to make like small knob not a handle and in case of I don't need to, make, to use any handle and use like built-in cabinet I have this option also 
in this case if i click apply i can see now he changed for me the design and make for me built-in handle for all the lens of that cabinet also if i can back here and close all this cabinet as a single and i need to make it as a double it will be very easy also to make it as a double so i can see here double cabinet door and also i can see the other option in case of i use it with built in so when i click on that one i can see now we make it as a two handle two cabinets and then i can also easy to add for example any handle one and it can be very easy to add it here also for the drawers i have too much type of the drawer for example if i go to this cabinet and if i click on that one i can see very easy here i use my four drawer type with four drawer handle two in case if i need to not to use it i can use my three drawer with design two to follow all the design in that one and when i just apply i can see now it's very easy to change it to the three drawers i have also option with two drawers and let's in the back to that one in case for example i need to make cabinet like this way to put inside it as a washing machine so in this case i don't need to see any of the skirting or any of the legs that hold this cabinet so very easy to back again here you move the leg and you move the skirting and also remove the half shelf that i don't need it close that also too i have here like open cabinet and in this case as an instance for myself i don't need this one so i can remove it also and very easy for me to reduce the height of the toy here the skirting with that one if i move it now to the my default i can see now how the cabinet go down to the ground very easy to control that one also in case of i have half shelf i can also control the height of the half shelf from this parameter it will easy me from here let's say if i make this 0.5 i as I can see now, we change the height of my help shelf. So it's very parametric. I can use it as any time as I want. Here, for example, like small double cabinet. Here it's like big cabinet with like single and drawers. And in this case, it can give me very easy and the quick design regarding to the all or any kitchen that I need to use it in my project. I hope that it can be very easy and very useful to use it. Don't forget to subscribe us. And also, if you want any information regarding to download our family, you can check down after subscribe and you can get all the information to how to download this family. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.